Rolls-Royce unveiled an engine in 2014 that promises 25% fuel savings over current technology. The Ultrafan Demonstrator completed ground tests in 2023. It features the largest fan diameter ever tested on a civil aerospace engine. Airlines could save millions per aircraft annually. Yet, Boeing has shown zero interest, and the reasons will shock you why. The Rolls-Royce Ultrafan engine centers on a geared turbofan architecture featuring a 140-inch fan diameter, composite fan blades, and a power gearbox system that decouples fan speed from the low-pressure turbine. Rolls-Royce completed ground testing of the Ultrafan demonstrator at its Derby United Kingdom facility in 2023. The engine ran on 100% sustainable aviation fuel during validation tests. The Ultrafan fan contains 20 carbon fiber composite blades manufactured using resin transfer molding. Each blade measures approximately 11.5 feet in length. The power gearbox allows the fan to rotate at optimal speed, while the turbine operates at higher rotational speeds for maximum efficiency. This geared architecture differs fundamentally from Rolls-Royce's traditional three-shaft design used in Trent engines. The company claims the Ultrafan could power wide-body aircraft entering service in the 2030s. Boeing maintains a corporate policy of offering multiple engine options on its commercial aircraft programs. The 787 Dreamliner launched with both GE Gen X and Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines available. The 777X flies exclusively with the GE9X, but Boeing historically provided Rolls-Royce and Pratt and Whitney options on earlier 777 variants. The 737 MAX uses CFM International Leap 1B engines, a joint venture between GE Aerospace and Safran Aircraft engines. This multi-supplier approach gives Boeing leverage in pricing negotiations and prevents dependence on a single engine manufacturer. Rolls-Royce historically pursues exclusive engine agreements with aircraft manufacturers. The Airbus A350 flies solely with Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines. Airbus selected Rolls-Royce as the exclusive power plant provider when launching the A350 program in 2006. This arrangement gives Rolls-Royce deep integration into aircraft systems and long-term aftermarket service revenue. Boeing rejected similar exclusive arrangements throughout its history preferring competitive engine markets. Rolls-Royce maintains strong commercial ties with Airbus across multiple programs. Beyond the A350, Rolls-Royce powers the Airbus A330neo with Trent 7000 engines and supplies engines for certain A380 variants. In June 2025, Reuters reported that Airbus expressed interest in Rolls-Royce technology for future narrowbody applications. Airbus Chief Executive Guillaume Fari stated the company wants engine competition in the narrow-body segment currently dominated by CFM International and Pratt and Whitney. Boeing experienced significant operational and reputational damage following two fatal crashes involving the 737 MAX in 2018 and 2019. The accidents resulted from flight control system failures linked to the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. The Federal Aviation Administration grounded the 737 MAX fleet for 20 months. Boeing paid over $2.5 billion in settlements and incurred production delays affecting thousands of aircraft. The company now faces heightened regulatory scrutiny on all new aircraft programs and system certifications. The Ultrafan represents an unproven architecture in commercial aviation service. No aircraft currently flies with a geared turbofan engine from Rolls-Royce. Pratt & Whitney introduced geared turbofan technology with the PW1000G series powering the Airbus A220, A320 Neo family and Embraer E2 jets. That engine family encountered durability issues requiring fleet groundings and accelerated maintenance cycles. Airlines reported higher-than-expected costs during the PW1000G's early service years. GE Aerospace supplies engines for Boeing's most critical programs. The CFM International Leap 1B powers all 737 MAX variants. Boeing selected the GE-9X exclusively for the 777X program. GE also powered the 777 and 747 families through multiple engine generations. CFM International delivered over 45,000 engines since its formation in 1974, with Boeing aircraft representing a substantial portion of that installed base. This relationship extends beyond engine sales into shared technology development, 
aftermarket services, and political alignment within U.S. aerospace policy. Boeing and GE Aerospace collaborate on the company's next-generation aircraft concepts. In 2021, both companies announced participation in NASA's Sustainable Flight Demonstrator Program targeting hybrid electric propulsion systems. GE's research programs, including the RISE initiative with Safran, align with Boeing's stated goals for aircraft entering service in the 2030s. These programs build on decades of joint development work between the two American manufacturers. Rolls-Royce would require significant design integration for ultra-fan adoption on any Boeing aircraft. The engine's 140-inch fan diameter exceeds current Boeing wide-body nacelle dimensions. Integration would necessitate airframe modifications affecting wing structure, landing gear geometry, and ground clearance. Boeing would need to commit substantial engineering resources years before first flight to accommodate UltraFan's physical dimensions and systems architecture. The company faces financial pressure to minimize development risk on future programs. Boeing reported $1.6 billion in losses during the third quarter of 2025, driven partly by 777X certification delays and 737 MAX production challenges. Investors and airline customers demand proven certifiable designs following the MAX crisis. Selecting an untested engine architecture would contradict Boeing's current risk-averse approach to new aircraft development. Airbus holds competitive advantages in the wide-body market where UltraFan would most logically apply. The A350 family competes directly with Boeing's 787 and 777 programs. Airbus delivered 103 wide-body aircraft in 2024 compared to Boeing's 89 wide-body deliveries that year. If Rolls-Royce offered UltraFan to Boeing, the engine maker would simultaneously provide technology potentially benefiting Airbus programs. Boeing would fund development of an engine that could strengthen its primary competitor's market position. Boeing announced no plans to develop an all-new wide-body aircraft before 2035. The company focuses current resources on certifying the 777X, ramping 787 production and resolving. 737 MAX Manufacturing Quality Issues Any future wide-body program would require engine selections made years in advance. Given Boeing's existing partnerships with GE Aerospace and historical preference for engine competition, UltraFan faces structural barriers to selection regardless of its technical performance. Seven years behind schedule, $15 billion in accumulated charges, the largest twin-engine jet ever built remains grounded in certification limbo. Boeing's 777X was supposed to revolutionize long-haul aviation in 2020. Instead, the program has become one of the most delayed aircraft projects in commercial aviation history. Now, 2026 stands as the year that will determine whether this aircraft finally takes flight or faces another costly setback. The Boeing 777X program launched in November 2013 at the Dubai Air Show with 259 orders and commitments worth $95 billion at list prices. Emirates ordered 150 aircraft, Qatar Airways placed orders for 50, and Etihad Airways committed to 25. Lufthansa had already signed on in September 2013 as the launch customer with an order for 34 7779 aircraft. Boeing originally targeted entry into service for 2020. The 777X family consists of three variants. The 7779 seats 426 passengers in a typical two-class configuration and has a range of 7,285 nautical miles. The 7778 carries 395 passengers over 8,745 nautical miles. Boeing also developed the 7778F freighter variant with a maximum structural payload of 118 tons. The 779 first flew on January 25, 2020. The aircraft features significant technological advancements over previous 777 models. The composite wing has a span of 235 feet 5 inches when fully extended, 
with 11-foot folding wingtips that reduce the wingspan to 212 feet 9 inches on the ground. This folding mechanism allows the 777X to fit into existing airport gates designed for the original 777 without requiring infrastructure modifications. The 777X is the first commercial transport aircraft to have wingtip controls in the cockpit. The GE-9X engines powering the 777X are the largest commercial jet engines ever built. Each engine has a fan diameter of 134 inches and generates up to 105,000 pounds of thrust for commercial operations. During ground testing in 2017, the GE-9X achieved 134,300 pounds of thrust, setting a Guinness World Record. The engine offers 10% lower fuel consumption compared to the GE-90-115B that powers current 777 variants. Certification efforts began in September 2019, but halted immediately after an extreme pressurization test caused a door to blow off in a hangar under FAA oversight. Test flights started in January 2020, but were suspended in December due to a flight control system flaw described as an uncommanded pitch event that caused the aircraft's nose to pitch up without pilot input. The program faced additional setbacks in subsequent years. In November 2022, the GE-9X engine on one of the four test 7779 suffered a technical issue, pausing the test program. In August 2024, a routine inspection following a test flight in Hawaii revealed a structural link between the engine and wing was damaged. Cracks were found in the same component on other aircraft in the test fleet. Boeing grounded all 777X test aircraft while repairs were completed. By late August 2025, five test aircraft had accumulated 4,100 flight hours across extreme conditions, including heat testing in Arizona and cold weather testing in Alaska. Boeing has conducted over 4,000 flight test hours, more than twice the hours of a typical certification program. In October 2025, Boeing announced another delay, pushing first delivery to 2027 and recording a $4.9 billion pre-tax charge. This brought the program's total cost overruns to approximately $15 billion. The program operates in a reach-forward loss position, meaning Boeing does not expect to recover its development costs across the first 500 aircraft built and sold. Boeing CEO Kelly Ortberg stated at the Morgan Stanley Laguna Conference in September 2025, we're planning to get the certification done towards the end of this year or early next year so we can start the delivery. The FAA has intensified its certification oversight following the 737 MAX crashes. The 777X is currently in Phase 3 of type inspection authorization, the most demanding phase where FAA pilots fly the aircraft to its aerodynamic limits. Recent brake tests in Oklahoma took 63 days, more than double the original forecast of 30 days. Despite the delays, airlines have maintained their orders. Emirates remains the largest 777X customer with 270 aircraft on order after adding 65 more 777-9s at the November 2025 Dubai Air Show. That order alone was worth $38 billion at list prices. The airline's total order book with Boeing now stands at 315 wide-body aircraft. Boeing confirmed Lufthansa as the launch customer in January 2025. The German carrier has 27 777X aircraft on order. Boeing has already built over 20 airframes that are sitting in storage awaiting certification. These aircraft will require modifications to meet the final certification standard before delivery. As of late 2025, Boeing reports 619 total 777X orders from more than 13 operators. The 777-9 has attracted